What's up, YouTube? Guys, yeah, got another video for you all today. Uh, guys, this is Christmas Eve. And I got nice weather here where I live, so I figured, why not get out and make another video? Uh, anyway, guys, uh, a lot of you all are curious about the sway bar, taking sway bars out on the Armax. And whenever I first, uh, you know, got my T-Rex and my RS-1, all my riding buddies, they'd be like, man, you got to take the front sway bar off. T-Rex, I know it just has one sway bar, but I'm mainly talking about this RS-1. Uh, it's like, you got to take the front sway bar off. Well, guys, I, was, I mean, you can see here, I mean, all these, every one of these plaques you see, that's because I'm a quad racer from back in the day. That's what I used to do. And I liked the solid axle setup. I liked being stable. So whenever they would say take a sway bar out, I'm like, man, you all, no way. I'm not doing that because they talk about the body roll or whatnot. Well, anyway, on this RS1, if you notice, guys, I took the sway bar out. You cannot keep bushings in this thing. And, uh, even if you grease them or whatever, they still wear out. So, I ended up taking the sway bar out. Uh, a buddy of mine was wanting to go riding. And I got tired of it clanging. So, I took it out. And, man, I'll tell you. There's, if you run your suspension stiff, which I run it always stiff on that RS1 because, you know, the machine is wore out. Man, it really don't make that big of a difference. Not like I thought it would. I can still corner probably just as fast. And, uh, so, Yeah. So I figured I'd try it out on this R-Max. I know a lot of you guys like to rock crawl. You know, if you get that articulation, it allows that one tire to get on the ground. And, uh, you know, sometimes that might be the difference of the machine going or not. So, uh, anyway, I'm going to do a test with the sway bar in. Just to see how much it articulates. I got a couple little obstacles I'm going to do real close to the house. Then I got a little couple little high-speed corners I'm going to do with the sway bar in, with the sway bar out, and we'll see if it makes a huge difference on this R-Max. I know on the R-Max forums, that's all everybody's talking about. The, you know, should I take sway bar out? Should I take sway bar out? Well, hopefully this video will help you a little bit. Uh, I'm going to need to do a good ride on it to, you know, give you my opinion for sure, but I like it on the RS-1. But, you know, these little, on this video, I'm going to do just a couple of tests and, uh, you know, you guys can see for yourself, but uh, later on, I'll do another review on it, on a good ride or whatever. But, uh, guys, just to give you a quick update on the channel. I'm doing good. Got 1,400 subscribers. The channel's growing. Most of you know I have an R-Max for my family machine and my RS-1, but uh, then some of you guys know I've done that Red Bull Stone race last year. Well, uh Guys, I'm getting ready to purchase another RS1. I told you all, you know, I showed you all the plaques. I was a quad racer from way back. I done that Red Bull Stone race. Man, I'm telling you, I'm hooked. I'm a full-time racer again, but my RS1, it's got 4,500 miles on it, and it's just too wore out. I'm going to keep it to trail ride, rock crawl, play on. Keep the hard max for my family. Then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have another RS1. That just The only time I ride it will be on the track, so... I know with the way this channel is, I have a lot of different people watching. I got R-Max guys watch. I got some RS1 guys watch. And some just random people watch. Well, for those of you that like the racing portion, uh, I'm going to be doing a lot of racing. And for those of you that like the R-Max, well, y'all want to sit in action. I just got this bad boy for it. So, Trail 35... At the Hatfield McCoy, this R-Max, I'm going to hit it on it. Trail 32, 95, all the stuff you've seen on this one. Well, now I can do it on this one. And I believe it I believe it will do well on it. And that, those trolls also will show you a little better about the sway bar, you know, being out. But, guys, Merry Christmas. And I hope you all enjoy the video. God bless everybody. What's up, guys? As you all seen in the intro, uh, I'm going to do a little sway bar test. Right here will be the first obstacle. These are a couple little hill climbs I just made like right in front of my house. But uh, I don't know how good you guys can see it, but it's pretty good two foot ledge there. When I turn into it, it should bring my driver's side tire up 
quite a bit of ways. Uh, I'm gonna hit it. This run right here will be with the sway bar. Then I'm gonna do another test or two with the sway bar, do a high speed corner test with the sway bar. Then I'm gonna disconnect my front sway bar and I'm gonna do it all over again. But let's see what we got here with the sway bar. the best test a lot of you guys like crawl mode but for this right here can't crawl this I, I tell you what we'll try to crawl it it ain't gonna crawl it though Let's see uh, it won't crawl in diff lock either guys I've done tried it before but uh Give it a little bump.
with me, I can't tell a huge difference.
believe it. <laughs> what sway bar out that is. Guys, oh man. Got to do a little bird job backing up. But, uh, as I said, you know, I was always against taking the sway bar out on this R Max. I mean, most of you guys bought this, you know, because you obviously have a family. And it will flex and articulate just a little bit more. We've seen the difference. It wasn't that huge of a difference. I may not have done the best test, but uh, I still believe it's got a little more flex to it. But as you've seen come around these corners, it still handles uh, kind of like it did before. It may be just to have a little more body roll to it, but nothing that's going to you know put you in danger or anything. Uh, but as I said, you know, uh, in the beginning of this video, I was always against taking sway bars out. I like, I, you know, I'm a former quad racer. I like to be as stable as possible, but, uh, you know, I'm finding out that with the sway bar out, it actually is more stable in certain situations. Let's just say if there's a big rock on this side, but not on this side where it let that machine get a little more flex to it, the machine will actually stay a little bit flatter i do believe instead of it being stiff and the whole machine rolling over but uh i'll do a little more uh i'll know a little more about it after i get to ride it on a big trail i think it's gonna be a lot smoother because it will flex more but uh yeah if you got an r-max four seat right if you go real slow you could probably get away with taking them both out but i still like to uh cover ground at a high rate of speed so I'm just going to take the front one out. I think you can get away with taking the front one out. But guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. And I hope everybody has a Merry Christmas. God bless everybody.